Hey everybody, it's your boy J-Dub and we back at it again. And let's get it. Today was the day, the day of the year. Uh, and we had E3, the Super Bowl of Gaming. Uh, Microsoft came out, which um, this show, they kind of had to win. This was the show that they had all by themselves, and most people didn't think that they could take an L. And we're going to talk about my thoughts of it. Now, on the screen, as you can see, we have Sea of Thieves. Um, that game was front and center, and the, uh, one of the you know main focus of the showcase. Uh, it looks like the Pirates of Caribbean DLC is being uh, handed to this game. Um, and being displayed on the world's most powerful console with the 12 T flops. Um, we started out with the uh, how can I say it? Starfield. Um, that there is interesting. Uh, from the look of it, it was an in game teaser of the creation engine, and uh, it kind of reminds me of a polished uh, Fallout 4 in space. Um, we'll see. Uh, one problem with that game is a lot of people were thinking that that game was dropping this year. And come to find out, it is not. It is dropping next November. Yes, you have to wait a whole nother year for that game. So uh, that was kind of disappointing. Um, we followed that up with Stalker 2. Thought that game was uh, coming out as well. Well, mm, that game is dropping uh, next April. So yeah, we have a a long ways to wait for that game and I, I think that was kind of part of the trend that we saw this e3 from microsoft and bethesda and that's that a lot of these games the majority of them 90 percent of them are launching next year um so that kind of left this year um you know with a big question mark what are we going to be playing this year uh that left for dead looking game uh back for blood is coming in game pass that's positive for those with Xbox, um, it's a you know free to game. It's not a big AAA game, but hey, it is what it is, and it's free in Game Pass. It releases October the twelfth. Uh, a game called Contraband. We don't, we didn't see any gameplay or anything like that. We just saw a little small trailer that said Contraband on a crate, uh, and it supposedly it's from the same people that are bringing you Just Cause. If you guys play Just Cause one, two, or three, um, not sure if they had a part four, but it's possible. Um, those games were very mid, but who knows? You know, maybe with the 12 T flops, they can overcome some of the previous challenges. Uh, we followed it up with Yakuza Like a Dragon finally in Game Pass. It is finally in Game Pass, and I believe it's dropping today. So that's good positive news. Then they dropped the Megaton. The best game showcase today was Battlefield 2042. Yes, I repeat, Battlefield 2042. That game looks epic. It looks big, epic scale, big, huge maps. Um, I can't wait to play that game. I'll be getting it for the PlayStation 5. Um, Got to play it with the better frames, the better resolution, the better stability, and the 3D audio and the haptic feedback. Uh, of course, the better network with the Wi-Fi 6 uh, built into the PlayStation 5. Um, you know, no time to be getting left behind with the Xbox Series X and the old uh, last-gen wireless technology. Um, what else we have here? Uh, we have Bethesda. Um, uh, Bethesda. Uh, all of their old games uh, from 360 era and the Xbox One era are coming to Game Pass. So that's good for people who uh, didn't play games back in the 360 days or the Xbox One days. Um, there's also this game I'm interested in called 12 Minutes. Um, it's a small indie game, but again, I'm interested in it. It drops August the 12th, 2021. Yes, um, that was one of the, the premier showing games here. Um, but that's the follow that up with some Fallout 76 DLC coming not this year, but next year. Again, that's a trend, 2022. Another game that, was, uh, that they followed that up was Party Animals. Uh, some people call it Tinky Winky, but hey, it is what it is. It kind of reminds me of Gang Beast. If any of you guys play Gang Beast with your kids or something like that, you know what to expect. That's also dropping in 2022. Um, one positive note, there is Hades. Yes, the PC game Hades. That was a game of the year contender, contender for uh, last year. So it drops August 13th, 2021. So that's good news. That's good news. That's coming this year. Uh, Halo Infinite dropped um, some news. They showed us some multiplayer gameplay. Um, while the graphics look 
uh, identical what was shown uh, at least the gameplay uh, was pretty good I think they did a good showing on that so not all is lost yeah it's not a next generation Halo but hey it is what it is um, according to you know a lot of that fan base the Xbox community graphics don't really matter it's all about gameplay so hey they're happy I'm happy um, I'll give it a try it's for free in Game Pass uh, oh and by the way uh, it's a uh, free to play game yeah it's a free to play game their flagship game is free to play so hopefully you know they're having the people to keep content coming keep them coming back uh, depending now one question is they did not give a release date for this game now that's kind of puzzling because they extended this game another year um, it, it, this game has to release uh, it has to release they have to give us a release date I think they're kind of fearful of Battlefield 2042 as well as Call of Duty and some of the other shoot big shooters that's coming out uh, maybe they want to time it towards the end of the year when everything is kind of kind of settled down but we'll see you know either way to go it's a free-to-play game can't 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 be mad at that right no we cannot be mad at that um and I'll show some uh, some some gameplay of, uh, of Halo right here. Um, what else we had? We have a Plague's Tale 2 Requiem that's coming in 2022. And yes, it is also coming for PlayStation 5. That's where I'll be playing it. Uh, I played in Platinum the uh, Plague's Tale 1. Great game. Really, really, really great game. I tell anybody, if you can, go and uh, get the game in Game Pass or buy it on PlayStation. Okay, we also have Far Cry 6, Far Cry 6. They showed uh, another trailer, Far Cry 6. It's looking good. Again, it's not next generation, but it is what it is. Um, you know, it's the next venture into the saga. Um, some game called Slime Rancher. Uh, mm, you know, it is what it is. I'll kind of skip that game. Atomic Heart, that was a PC demo. Um, the game is coming to Xbox. Uh, we'll see how that thing is going to uh, do. Another big game that they showed uh, and showcased on the E3 stage from Microsoft is Grounded. Grounded, yes, Grounded. Grounded DLC. Um, I think this game is still in early access, or I don't know if it's at a finished stage or not, but they're dropping some DLC, you know. Um, also, they showed us some Among Us uh, content for those of you guys that have it on your iPad and your iPhone. That's coming to the world's most powerful console, showcasing with the 4K textures. Uh, some game called Yiden, uh, E I Y U D E N. Um, not sure if that's going to be anything, but we'll see how that comes out. They also had the, the Ascent. I believe that's dropping July, um, sometime in July. So we'll see how that shakes up. It looks pretty good. Um, you know, again, smaller indie game, but, I, you know, it is what it is. You know, we also have one game that I'm looking forward to, and that's Age of Empires 4. Yes, I repeat, Age of Empires 4. We will be on that thing on pc yes absolutely on pc can't wait um that is a ps uh uh pc exclusive yeah uh, october 28th uh the game called outer Wor outer worlds 2 that's coming yes the sequel is coming i'm not sure if that's going to be a xbox exclusive is going to be a multi-plat the first game was a multi-plat um it got middle of the road reviews uh pretty good game uh, nothing to write home about we also have the flight simulator coming july 27th i repeat the flight simulator um it did look a, a, a lot lower resolution and stuff like that than the pc counterpart that we're playing now but hey what do you expect the game has to run on the og xbox one with the connect so they had to do the best thing that they could possibly do um we have forza forza horizon 5 let's see we have that's dropping november the 9th yes forza horizon 5 is dropping november the 9th uh they show some gameplay for that it kind of looked like a dlc to forza horizon 4 so we'll see we're going to see um hopefully that game um hopefully it shakes out we do know forza uh motorsports actually is a brand new engine they're building that from the ground up for next generation but yes forza horizon 5 has to run on the og xbox one with the connect um and they finished off with some game called project omen um it looked okay um after that that kind of summed up the show so yes there was a lot of xbox content there 
Um, so thank God for that. Uh, a lot of people kind of complained that there was too many CGI trailers. Uh, people complained, where is Avowed? Where is Hellblade 2? Where is all the big games that everyone was expecting? Um, those games, unfortunately, are years away. We're looking at 2024, 2025 to be able to see something from that. Um, even what's the game uh, Everwilds. Yes, Everwilds. Come to find out today... Uh, the developer said that they started over from scratch, so we won't see that game for about three to four years. So that kind of sums up the Xbox E3 showcase. We will see, you know, you know, for for the most part, it is what it is. We can't, you know, beggars can't be choosy. A lot of these games are free, so you can't, you know, you can't, you know, a lot of people say, well, you can't kind of be mad at that. It's free. What do you expect for free? Yeah, but you got to realize, you know, when you look at Sony's, uh, Sony's game um, their games they just dropped Ratchet and Clank, Final Fantasy 7 Integrate, uh, Guilty Gear Strive and then uh, next up on the list is Kena, Sifu and finishing the year off with uh, Horizon Forbidden West when you see those games, those push the bar graphically, those games a lot of those games, Sony's first party, big AAA games uh, they leave the industry in shock, they break the internet and we just didn't see any of that stuff here today uh, at e at Microsoft stage. Uh, a lot of people say that Bethesda and Microsoft needed each other uh, in order to make this a complete show. Uh, the content was kind of lacking as far as where's the big bangers. Uh, and people, you know, there's a lot of indie, there's a lot of double A, but there's just none of that big blockbuster stuff, that Michael Bay stuff. Um, and so, you know, it is what it is. I know the Xbox fan base, they love it. They enjoyed it. But, you know, I wouldn't expect anything else. Um, uh, but if you want a true unbiased opinion, of course, you come to your boy j -Dub. I'm going to call it right down the middle, right? Um, so, you know, I'll give the show a 6 out of 10. And I'll give it a 6 out of 10 instead of a 5 out of 10 because they did show Battlefield 2042. Again, that was the game that took... It took the stage and it showed you why they are the behemoth in the industry. Um, good luck to 343 with their Forza. I mean, not Forza, but the Halo Infinite. Because here's the thing. That game has to drop sometime. It is a shooter. It's a first-person shooter. So that game is going to have to compete with the Call of Duties. It's going to have to compete with the Apex Legends and all the other games, right? It's going to have to compete. So we will see. Anyway, let your boy know what you think. Let me know in the chat. Let me know what your thoughts was and uh, if I nailed it. Anyway, peace.